Health officials across the country continue to plea with the public to wear masks, but many still refuse. Joining us now to talk about the psychology behind why it's so hard for some people to accept wearing a mask is Dr. Brad Sagarin. He's a professor at Northern Illinois University. Are you there? Can you hear us? I am. Thank you. All right. Great to talk to you. I know that there are some folks out there that just either don't want to do it or forget to do it. Right. So what's behind all of this? You said, you know, the psychology of it. Well, mask wearing didn't have to be a tough sell. Wearing a mask is mildly inconvenient. It fogs up your glasses and so on. Um, but unfortunately, mask wearing has become a political symbol. And if putting on a mask or refusing to put on a mask has become a way for me to express my politics, it's a lot tougher to convince somebody to, to uh, do what they're not doing. How do you convince them that it is not political and it is health related? Well, it would really help if our leaders were speaking with one voice. When we're not sure what to do, one of the sources that we look to um, are authorities, our leaders. Um, and if our leadership, both the scientific community, the medical community, and maybe most importantly, our, our uh, political leaders, would speak with one voice about the importance of wearing a mask, it would be quite a bit more convincing. You know, you talked, you brought up the political aspect of this. We've seen in other countries uh, wearing a mask has not been uh, the kind of issue that it has become here in the in the U.S. Why do you think that is and sort of explain where we stack up compared to to other areas? Well, it's a great question, and I think that unfortunately, in the polarized political environment uh, that we're in, it's pretty easy for almost any issue to become politically polarized itself. However, this puts our politicians, particularly those who have argued against mask wearing, in a powerful position to actually be particularly persuasive. Um, one of the most powerful types of communicators is somebody called a convert communicator. This is somebody who believed one thing and then argues the other side. And so, for example, example, President Trump or other of the leadership who have argued um, not strongly enough potentially about mask wearing uh, have a particular opportunity uh, to exert that kind of persuasive pressure and convince people to wear masks. All right, Dr. Brad Sagarin, thank you so much. I guess we just have to keep saying wear a mask. It's for your own health and forget about the politics, right? <laughs> Thanks a lot.